What's good family? Welcome back to another video. Now I just woke up from like a six hour nap. Um, I had work today from six in the morning to two thirty in the afternoon. And the night before I only got like two hours of sleep. So as soon as I came home I just slumped. Took like was and I was intending to take like an hour nap. Ended up being like four to six hours. And this whole day has just been like a blur. Like I don't remember much that happened. You know, anybody out there that works a nine to five job, there's there's good things about it, don't get me wrong. There's duality and everything. There's good and bad. You know, you get benefits. You can make a retirement uh, account. The bad is, you know, when you work 40 hours a week, and you start entering those 40 to 50 hours, time just doesn't even feel like it exists anymore. Like, every day just moves quickly and quickly and quickly. So, it's very important to take those those time out for yourself to just get yourself caught up to speed. And like I always say, just have that time to reflect and to really connect with yourself. That being said, you know, that's not what I wanted to talk about. What I wanted to talk about in this video was be careful who you make eye contact with. Now, there was a situation that happened at work today that inspired me to make this video. And before I get into that, I just want to I want to talk about why or, or not so much why, but, but how eye contact is powerful. Now, I'm sure you've heard this saying before plenty of times throughout your life growing up as a kid. The eyes are the window to the soul. You know, you look at somebody's eyes and you can really learn a lot about a person. They say that your eyes speak a million words. Your eyes always reflect how you feel on the inside. You know, so every time you make eye contact with somebody, you know, whoever it is, that is a form of energy transference, whether you are aware of that or not, because think of it like this, right? Um, I'll give you an example. You make an eye, you make eye contact with your mom, right? You make eye contact with your mom and let's say you're at home alone. And you made a big ass mess and you forgot to do the dishes, you forgot to vacuum, you forgot to take the trash out. And, you know, you're sitting in the kitchen, your mom walks home and she walks through the front door and you, you guys make eye contact. You guys meet each other's eyes. And based off of that, you know, five or five or six seconds of looking at her. You already know she's upset because it's it's plastered all over her face. You can see the disappointment. You can see the frustration, the frustration. So even without like she doesn't even have to say a word. Nothing needs to come out of her mouth. She can just send you that message through her eyes and through her facial expression and through her body language. So. And, you know, and in some cases, like. I feel like for me, like <laughs> some cases, uh, your mom might walk. Uh, I can't even talk. Your mom might walk home, and you're looking at her, and you can even hear her voice inside your head, like, "I'm about to beat your ass." <laughs> like you, you didn't do anything while I was gone. You didn't do no chores. You didn't clean any dishes. I'm gonna beat your ass. <laughs> but. You know, that's that would be one example of um, energy transfer and transference through the eyes. You know, you don't even have to really say much. You don't even have to really verbalize anything. You can just express the way you feel through your eyes, through your face, through your facial expressions, through your mannerisms. Um, and another example would be, you know... You make eye contact with everybody. You make eye contact with so many people throughout your day. And 
every time you make eye contact with somebody, what happens? You know, you get these thoughts inside your head. You're probably thinking, what is this person looking at me for? Why did I make eye contact with that person? Um, you know, you get so many thoughts that go through your head. That That is a form of energy transference. When you just get these thoughts placed, on, uh, placed inside your head, you know, and now you're using your energy to dwell on those thoughts. Now you're, you're using your energy to think about whatever thought that just came inside your head. That is a form of energy transference. As soon as that person makes eye contact with you, now you now you are thinking about, you know, now you're you're dwelling on it. Now that now you're giving your energy towards it. So now you see why they say that eye contact is energy transference and why they say that the eyes are a window to the soul and why they, you know, and all this to say like you got to be careful who you make eye contact with. And this is something that I'm learning right now. This is something that I'm still trying to teach myself. Because, you know, I have my own testimony, my own theories through, you know, the people that I've made eye contact with. More specifically speaking, the people that I work with, the co-workers that I work with. You know, I've noticed that um, throughout the months of working there, the eye contact um, has really drawn people in to me. Not only has it drawn people into me, but it's it's set in the groundwork for all of my bonds and all of my relationships. Um, you know, they say that a couple that always makes eye contact, a couple that is always um, making eye contact, not to repeat myself, but that couple is more likely to stay together. That The couple that are always making eye contact, that are always looking each other in the eyes, that are always, you know, giving each other that, inten uh, that attention, they're more likely to last. Because, and, and this is another thing, like, when you make eye contact, people take you way more serious. And that's just like, that's just, that's just common sense, I feel like. Like right now, if I'm looking at you and I'm saying, yo, you got to make that YouTube channel. You have to, you know, start making multiple streams of income. You have to start planning ahead. And you have to most importantly have faith in order to achieve whatever goal you want to achieve. You see how that looks good? But if I, if I were just like... Yeah, you need to um you need to make multiple streams of income. I think you should start a YouTube channel. Uh you know, you should definitely have faith, you know, have faith. Um faith is very important and you know, you, you'll get there. You'll get there. Um it just takes time, you know. It takes time. You'll get there, man. Just just keep working. You see, like, you see the difference? If I'm making eye contact with you, you're going to take what I say serious. But if I'm not even looking at you, if I'm not even batting an eye towards you, what's the point? You know, it's, it's, it feels empty. It feels like there's no connection being made because there's no eye contact. So, yeah, definitely, if you're in a relationship, make eye contact. Um, that's how you're taken more serious. That's how you're, uh, that's how you're being seen in the light of, a leader and you know not to confuse a leader with an actual leader because everybody leads their self everybody you know you get yourself out of bed in the morning it's not me you are the one that you know takes the steps towards a new career you're the one that does all the research you're the one that brushes your teeth in the morning you're the one that takes a shower you know there's no such thing as somebody that's your leader, because you lead yourself every single day inside this physical body. But in the leader as an aspect of somebody who is able to provide the proper resources and is able to adapt to their environment and is able to lead by example. That's what I mean by a leader. So 
Um, you know, if you're in a relationship, make eye contact. Um, be be careful. Let me let me get back to what I was saying. I'm sorry. I got so many thoughts flowing through my head. I'm going on these tangents. I just woke up. My bad. Back to what I was saying. You got to be careful who you make eye contact with because you never know who that person is. You never know what that person's intentions are. You never know. You don't know about that person's past. So when you're making eye contact, for me, me personally, I feel like the more and more eye contact you make with that person, the more and more of a chance that there is a bond that'll be built with that person. Now, this is just how I see life. You know, this is just what I've noticed through my experiences. Like every single person, when I'm talking about the people on my job, because that's that's mostly what it occurs with people that I work with. People on my job, when I make eye contact with them, that that bond is slowly built. Like we'll go from we'll go from making eye contact to you know saying hi to each other when we walk by to saying hello and goodbye, you know, from the beginning of the shift to the end of the shift. We go from that to, like, starting, you know, small talk, you know, how was your day, oh, the weather, you know, this, that, and the third. We'll go from talking about the weather to, like, talking about deep shit. Like, it just goes, like, it slowly, 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 that bond slowly, slowly, slowly starts to form into something, you know, that you can't even imagine. And... Another example, this was, <laughs> this was something that actually happened at work today. Um, so I was taking up, I was taking out an order for a drive up. And as I was walking outside, there was this single mother in front of me and she had her children and she was walking out the store with her children and she, she was gathering all of her children at the entrance of the store and she was like all right all right everybody come here we gotta wait for daddy and as she said that when I'm walking out the building I look at you know I look at what's in front of me and I see her daughter she had like a little five-year-old daughter and I made eye contact with her and this is why I wanted to make this video because that this little split second this little quick 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 little cutscene inside of my life, this little quick, you know, this little quick scenario that just happened in my life. This is just like, it, it explains a lot. So I made eye contact with her, right? And as I'm leaving the store, the single mother, she's like, all right, hold up, hold up, we got to wait for daddy. <laughs> and the little girl's like, that's not my daddy. <laughs> <laughs> she said that to me <laughs> and the mom was like oh my god <laughs> and she grabbed her, her her kid's hand and they started walking to her car and it was just so funny bro like but you see that's that's that goes back to what I was saying like if I would have never made eye contact with that little girl she probably wouldn't have even said that but it's the fact that I looked at her in her eyes and I was walking out at the same time as they were walking out that's what made her say, that's not my daddy. <laughs> but um, it's just funny, man. Um, back to what I was saying. Um, be careful who you make eye contact with. Be careful who you give your energy towards. Um, you never know what bond you're subconsciously building with somebody. And, you know, you never know. You never know to what extent that bond can be taken to you never know what that person's intentions are you never know you don't know about that person's past you don't know you don't know nothing about this person so all this to say be mindful be aware and think twice before you build that bond with somebody because you know that that person could you know could bring good or it could bring bad to your life you know so 
Um, I want to try to think if there's any more examples or any more, any more advice that I can give you. Um, yeah, like, definitely make eye contact when you're in a relationship. Um, this is just what I've read. Like, I've read on the internet, if you make eye contact in a relationship, couples that make eye contact, they're more likely to last together because they take each other more serious. But if you don't make eye contact, you know, how can you expect to be felt? How can you expect people to feel your energy? How can you expect for people to hear what you got to say? How can you expect for people to even consider any thought or any idea that you have, right? So, um, be aware who you make eye contact with. You never know what bond is being built. You never know, you know, what strings are being pulled in the background, in the spirit realm. You never know. You never know. Um, and that's all I pretty much got to say. Um, I just wanted to give you an example of how eye contact can lead to healthy serious relationships where both partners are taking each other serious uh, serious or it can lead to you know you building a bond with somebody who you never wanted to build a bond with you know so that's all I pretty much got to say um I'm still wide awake at this time I don't even know what I'm gonna do like you ever, you ever, like, take a nap throughout your whole day, and then you wake up at night, you're like, damn. You feel like the only one awake. You're like, I don't even know what to do at this point. But, yeah, that's pretty much all I have for today's video. I love y'all. Take care of yourself. Peace.